So good morning and welcome everybody and I'm going to talk to you about my uh, research proposal which is titled Towards High Value Cost Conscious Care, How to Effectively Train Medical Residents. So let me start off with a short introduction. I'm uh, Serge Mordang, as some of you may know. I have a background in work in organizational psychology. I'm very enthusiastic to work together with my team on this. Uh, Karen Koenings is my daily supervisor. She's a cognitive psychologist. Uh, Frank Smink, who is a pulmonologist. And Lauren Stas, who is a surgeon. Um, we also work together in this in a national project called in Dutch the Bewustseinsproject which uh, literally translate as an awareness project to create, um, which has a name, uh, to create more awareness in the subject of high value cost conscious care and um, which in the end wants to um, implement a team of high value cost conscious care in all medical training programs. So let me, um, I just introduced the concept high value cost conscious care. Let me shortly explain this. Um, it's um, uh, is mainly about two uh, prominent issues now discussed in medical health care, which are quality and cost. And high value cost conscious care um, wants that the harms and costs of, of an intervention are justified by its benefits, which has an aim to provide the patient with the best possible care. Okay, so there is now in the literature an acknowledgement of this importance of the high value cost conscious care. And we know that education herein plays a vital role. So uh, what we want to do with uh, this project is to ensure that high-value cost-conscious care um, uh, receives a more explicit role in the training program of medical residents. Okay, so, but when we do that, we have to take, uh, in my uh, view, two important things into account. So on the one hand, uh, we have to deal with a, a learning environment. So residents, uh, when they go from residency towards uh, being a physician, they are in constant contact with different stakeholders. So, for example, they uh, receive input from physicians, who are their role models. They receive input from departmental managers, for example, who set up the route for the hospital. And, of course, patients, who are they in constantly interaction with um, to provide the best possible care. On the other hand, um, they have to um, already have a very tight and busy training schedule. So, when we introduce this topic, we have to uh, make sure that they can actually cope with an extra element in the educational program. So, the aim is to better understand the circumstances under which we want residents to be trained in delivering high-value cost-conscious care. And we need to know how the training context and work environment uh, serve as preconditions to have an effective educational instruction. So four questions we ask ourselves in uh, broadly is what is the status now? Um, what can be facilitators and obstacles? How can we learn from other contexts? And in the end, how can we effectively implement high value cost conscious care in the training context? These questions will be uh, more explicitly told in the, the research questions later on. So let me tell you about my um, theoretical framework I'm using. I'm using the theory of planned behavior I'll show you introduce the, um, the um, terms that go with it, and then I give an example of how to apply it in the context of, high value, of training high-value cost-conscious care. So what this theory says is that uh, an attitude of a person uh, combined with the subjective norms of uh, people around him and with a perceived behavioral control uh, all lead towards a behavioral intention, towards a behavior, which in the end will lead towards a behavior. So let's... Um, Apply this to the context of high value, training high value cost conscious care. Let's say I'm a medical resident and I want to include cost when I'm uh, discussing treatment options with my patient. Well, so I, I want to include cost, so that says I am, have a positive attitude towards high value cost conscious care, which is positive for my behavioral intention. On the other hand, uh, I'm feeling that maybe the patient doesn't really want this, or maybe my physician of the uh, department does not really want this. So I have uh, negative uh, ideas of subjective norms around me, which will have a negative impact on my um, behavioral intention. Then the last part of behavioral, behavioral control, we operationalize this as the job demands and resources. So let's say I have a very high work pressure, and um, my high work pressure does not uh, leave time for me to really explain explicitly cost with the patient. So that will also have a negative uh, impact on the, my behavioral intention towards behavior and in the end, of course, the behavior. So let's split this up in research question. My first research question is then, what are the attitudes of medical residents, physicians, 
managers and patients concerning delivering high-value cost-conscious care, and what are residents' and physicians' perception of the working environment with regard to opportunities to be trained in an additional team like high-value cost-conscious care. Really long question just to, uh, we want to know through questionnaires what are the attitudes of medical residents, so the first balloon of the three aspects. Second one, we want to know what are the attitudes of the other stakeholders and what do uh, residents think of those um, attitudes of other stakeholders. And the third one is what are job demands and resources, so where can they see uh, what are, how high is the job uh, work, work pressure, for example. And on the left, you see uh, we want to explain uh, some within stakeholder um, differences with some uh, variables like uh, clinical expertise or um, um, I don't know what, what else than the demographic, fa oh, demographic factors. So for the second research question, uh, we are asking um, all the, again, the same stakeholders, residents, physicians, managers and patients, to see what they think are obstacles and facilitators of, um, to be trained in high-value cost-conscious care, and which is mainly um, the, um, the situation from going from behavioral intention towards the actual behavior. So what do they see? How can we improve that? What are opportunities? But also what are obstacles? So that's for the second question. The third question, which will be your literature review, is how can we learn from other professions? So how do other disciplines and professions uh, train their staff and employees to adopt a high-value, cost-conscious practice or mind uh, to apply this in their field. And the fourth question, um, we want to, based on the first three questions, um, have, an have develop an intervention and evaluate it to improve the behavioral intention. In the end, of course, we want to improve the behavior. So those are my four questions. I hope you understand it a bit, and I would like uh, to thank you for your attention. Have any questions?